Hi guys, that's here with another comic book haul. Finally, this is episode 72. And this promises to be quite possibly my greatest ever haul. I've amassed a whopping 45 books in the last couple of weeks. Some bronze, a lot of silver, various sources as always. And then amongst those books, I've got three big ones. I'm very excited to share with you guys. Let's get into the books. Starting off with a mature cover. So if my younger viewers are watching, turn away now. We're going to start with a book I picked up for 50p in my Cheltenham LCS. They've got a back issue selection of bins, which are great. Um, and this is Man Eaters, issue number two from Image Comics. And this is basically about women who have women problems once a month. And uh, when they do, they become not very nice women. And they attack. And it's as simple as that. A bizarre story. And, uh, yeah, it had me laughing at times, I must admit. But, um, yeah, this cover in particular goes for a few quid on the right day. So for 50p, why not give it a try? Up next, I made a hot comic book alert on this title, She Could Fly, recently. And this is uh, She Could Fly, The Lost Pilots. Because She Could Fly has been optioned. And this is issue three. Of she could fly the lost pilot. Thought I'd give it a whirl for 50p, see if I get a couple of quid. Amazed to find this next title in 50p bins. Another hot book alert. I showcased uh, a title that has was um, cancelled due to copyright infringement. Uh, the title was being used by a New York bar. Well, the title is coming back, and it is coming back titled Dead Eye. So, to find Dead Rabbit, issue number two, for 50p, yeah, that's a winner for me. That's probably a 10 to 15 pound book currently. I've also got issue one uh, up for sale as well at the moment, so might pair the two together. Recall books, low print run, I think, round about the 15,000 mark. Like I said, Dead Rabbit is now going to be coming back, titled The Dead Eye. Uh, now, in this 50p dollar bins, they had four issues of the same book, and I was delighted to find them. I took all four to the counter, and the lady in charge phoned her boss, and the boss said, no, I couldn't have all four. Which is a little strange, because if you're in your 50p dollar boxes, they're obviously not selling. But, you know, rules are rules. I picked up a second copy, anyway, of Little Bird from Image Comics. Um, this is basically... About Little Bird follows a young rebel fighter who battles against an oppressive American empire. This is getting quite a lot of buzz on the forums. I think there's a second and third printing as it stands. And uh, I wasn't a big fan of the story. I've got to be honest. It was a bit wacky. Very violent though. Um, and they think this one could be optioned. Again, that's probably a £10 to £15 book on a good day. Um, Went to my favourite charity shop in Ch uh, Cheltenham, Oxfam. Um, done very well over the years there. Picked up first Deathstroke, uh, New T Teen Titans, uh, issue t it's two, isn't it? For £1.50. Well, picked up three more titles. I was looking earlier today at uh, a new live action superhero show that's coming very soon. Josh Jamal is playing the main character, I think, called Utopia or Utopia, something like that. Anyway, uh, this is Jupiter's Legacy from Mark Millar and Frank Whiteley. Jupiter's Legacy, issue one. This is a, basically a primary issue of a mini-series created by Mark Millar and Frank Whiteley about the offspring of superheroes living in the shadows of their parents. And this is cover D from Phil Notto. I've got the first cover, the regular cover, already in my collection. That's another superhero tale that is mature. And talking of mature books, uh, my brother-in-law has been watching uh, Darren... And he's been watching The Boys, and he says it's the best superhero show he's ever seen. And I've heard nothing but good things about this. So I went out and started to look for some of the keys. Now, obviously, uh, I think one and three are pretty major books. Um, but I did manage to find these at £1.50 each. Uh, I made a hot book alert on this one. This is The Boys issue seven. And this is the first appearance of Stormfront, a Shazam-type character who once belonged to the Hitler Youth. Now, Stormfront is uh, it's 
I think the actress oh, in the in the comic is a a male, but in the series I think it's going to be a female playing Stormfront, and she is due to appear in season two of The Boys. And uh, as well as that, we've got the first appearance of Ted Knight, who is Robert Vernon, and first appearance of Legend. Crikey, these books are, are very mature, but uh, I like what I've read so far. And uh, to go with that, I picked up this one. It's also rumoured that this team could possibly appear in season two. This is The Boys, issue 24, again for £1.50. The first appearance of, <coughs> sorry, G Wiz, and its members Buzzcut, Dungbag, Discharge, Dude With No Name, Jetlag, and Pinwheel. Now this is cover art by Derek Robertson and it's paying homage to Animal House, the uh, movie. So I went on a little holiday break with my mum to our caravan. We've got a stationary caravan in a Tewkesbury at Croft Farm, beautiful spot by a, by a big lake. And was there, of course, I can't help but hum. And in Shrewsbury, there is a like an antique store, a big place called the Malt House Emporium, which is run by my good friend John Christopher. I've picked up some absolute bargains. I've picked up so many good books from him over the years for literally a couple of quid. Uh, to name a, a nice early run of the Avengers, I've picked up the first Black Knight, I've picked up first uh, Gambit, uh, so many good books. Oh, first Valkyrie, to name but a few. Um, and oh, I picked up uh, X Men 101 as well. Cut the quid, crazy stuff. Uh, thought I wouldn't find any because I've picked that place clean, but I, I managed to find four books. First up, we got an upgrade on second copy, Brightest Day issue four. This is the first appearance of Aqualad, uh, the second Aqualad, who is Jackson Hyde. Nice David Finch cover. Um, Jackson Hyde could well appear in the Teen Titans show, or perhaps a, an Aquaman sequel. Never know. But this is around about a £10 book on a good day. I paid £3 each for these uh, books on the Malt House. Up next, uh, happy to find this one. This was optioned in January of 2018. So we'll see if that comes. Birthright, issue number one. And uh, uh, this is the first print of Michael Rhodes. This was optioned by Skybound. And uh, this is the variant M Mark Silvestri cover. So we'll see what happens with Birthright. But I'm looking forward to reading that. Now, over here in the UK, it's very hard to find Atlas Comics in good condition. I've got the first Planet Vampire issue one and two. I've got uh, first Iron Jaw, uh, which is one of the main ones, because, of course, Atlas are getting their own new cinematic universe, apparently to rival Marvel. Time will tell. Uh, they had the first issue, uh, Phoenix number one there from Atlas Comics, but it was beat up and had so much spine roll they left it. But I did manage to pick this one up, Morlock 2001. Issue one. This is the first appearance and origin of Morlock, a man grown inside of a plant who can transform into a monster. That would make good viewing, in my opinion. A bit man thingish, you know. So, see where that goes. For three quid, I couldn't leave it there. And this was my favourite pickup from uh, John this time round. And this is rumoured to be appearing in the Disney Plus's uh, Wonder Vision. And the book in question, Vision and the Scarlet Witch. Issue number 12, uh, the final uh, issue of that series. And the reason I picked this up, this is the first appearance of Thomas Shepard as a baby, who later becomes Speed. And the first appearance of Billy Kaplan as a baby, who later becomes Wiccan. And they are the Vision and Scarlet Witch's children. And she is rumoured to have these children in the, the WandaVision series, guys. Um, yeah, Scarlet Witch gives birth. Good old Vision, still being a hero, isn't he? Um, how, why, we don't know. Not sure, I really want to find out. So, uh, whilst on this uh, break with my mum, uh, we went to Worcester, and in Worcester they have a, a pretty cool comic shop called Out of This World. Check back to my videos, you'll see a Roman video of that shop. I picked up quite a few books there. Um, now this was a miss. I thought this was a hit initially. I paid three quid for it, but it won't be staying in the PC, I don't think. There is Detective Comics issue five hundred and ninety-three. Now I've met John Wagner. Um, I was going to meet him again. I'm not sure I will now. He did the work on. He worked on this book, but um, uh, I thought this was the first appearance of Jeremiah Arkham. Uh, that is what Comic Book Realm said. That is what 
the key collector app says bet it isn't of course jeremiah Ar arkham chris appears in uh batman shadow of the bat issue one which i, I knew it so i don't know why i picked this up but this is the second appearance of cornelius uh Sturt. so but it's not going to stay not worthy that will be up for sale hopefully i can get my three quid back big fan of doom patrol cannot wait wait to see the series my, I've heard nothing but, again, good things about it. My friend Lewis, Comic Bank, says it's fantastic stuff. And they had a lovely run there, the 1987 Grant Morrison run of Doom Patrol. And I'm trying to put that together. I'm probably two-thirds of the way through now. So I picked up Doom Patrol, issue number two. These were £2 each. Happy to have this one, Doom Patrol, issue four. This is the first full appearance and origin of Lodestone, who is Rhea Jones in costume. And uh, Lodestone appears in the Doom Patrol TV show. And then picked up issue number 31, a second copy of this one. Bear with me while I just check my notes quickly. Now, issue 31 is the first appearance of Willoughby Kipling. And Willoughby Kipling uh, is like a drunk Constantine. He's always drunk. Uh, I think he's played by Mark Shepard. Um, he appears in the Doom Patrol TV show. And there's also, a, uh, I think, the first appearance of the Cult of the Unwritten Book, which uh, follows one of the villains. Up next, another copy of issue number 32. Another key. The first appearance of the Death Creator, a cosmic entity, possibly the Shadow of God, worshipped by the agents of the Cult of the Unwritten Book. There we go. Happy to add another copy of this. First appearance of Danny the Street in issue 35. Danny the Street is in that TV series. And the first cameo appearance of Flex Mentolo, also going to be appearing, I think, in season two, if I'm not mistaken. Finally, added a copy of issue 36, which is the first full appearance of Flex Mentolo. I've got the Flex Mentolo mini series, which was actually banned. Um, one to four uh, miniseries, that is. Uh, this is also the, also the second appearance of the men from nowhere and the origin of the Doom Patrol team, the Chief, Negative Man, Elastic Girl, and Robot Man. Then we've got issue 37. Some of these covers are striking, in my opinion. Issue 44, which is the first appearance of the Candle Maker. I could not say no to a second copy of my favourite ever comic book read. In issue 45, we have The Beard Hunter. The first appearance of The Beard Hunter who appears in the Doom, Doom Patrol TV show. If you haven't read this, guys, great, great story. Basically, this is a guy who cannot grow facial hair and he hates everybody that can. So I'm in trouble. Um, and basically, at one point, he just breaks down and he attacks some guy and he's saying... Bearded beep, dirty bearded beep, beep, beep. I'll kill you all, basically. That's what he shouted. I just thought that was so funny. So funny. First appearance of the beard hunter there. And then, of course, for two pound each, I picked up the two big boy books of, this, of the run. An upgraded copy of Doom Patrol 26, the first appearance of Mr. Nobody, who was Eric Morden, the main villain of the Doom Patrol TV show. And the first appearance of the Brotherhood of Dada, and to go with that, probably the most valuable book, currently around about the 20, 25 pound mark, a second copy of Doom Patrol issue 19, the first appearance of Crazy Jane, one of the main stars of the Doom Patrol show. Staying with Doom Patrol, I picked up issue one from 2001. And this is the first appearance of the new Doom Patrol team and its members, Fever, Flash Forward, Freak, Kid Slick, and the second robot man. And the first appearance also of Thayer Jost. Uh, Fever was in my encyclopedia, so I was happy to tick off that character. Stay with Doom Patrol. Couldn't let that stay for three quid. It's ratty. Probably a two to a 2.5. But Doom Patrol, issue 123. It's on his staples, as does he says. That's all he can say. There we go. Bit of nice silver there. £2.50, a second copy of this one. Can't leave it there for £2.50. Suicide Squad, issue 23. 
first cameo appearance of Oracle, Barbara Gordon. And of course, Oracle uh, appeared in that pretty damn average Birds of Prey live action TV series and uh, actually met the, the, the lady, and I can't even remember her name, who played Oracle. Got my photo in the front row with her actually. Um, she was in uh, Starship Troopers and Saw. That's all I can remember. Happy to finally track this one down. Uh, what did I pay for this? I think I paid, yeah, three quid. New Mutants, issue number three. Now, if we ever get that New Mutants um, movie that I've seen the trailer for, this is the first appearance of Demon Bear, a monstrous phantom that haunts Danny on Moonstar's dreams. And uh, Demon Bear is one of the main villains in the New Mutants movie, by all accounts. So happy to add that one. Now, I might have overpaid for this. I don't think I have, because this is looking around about a 10 to a 20 pound book. I paid nine. Um, but happy to add it. For nine pound, from Marvel Comics, I picked up Ren and Stimpy, issue number one. Oh yeah. Don't see that every day, do you guys? Never even seen the show. Heard great things about it, it meant to be very funny. So I will give it a try. Highly recommended by my brother-in-law. Uh, two quid for this one. Happy to find it. It's oh, mid-grade, but it's very hard to find this book. This is Hellblazer, issue 27. Now, the Hellblazer run, this is scarce, and this has a low print run. Yeah, you'll see them on eBay, but out in the wild, you're going to do very well. Uh, this features an insert of Clive Barker's Nightbreed. Um, this was published one month after the movie was released, and one month before the Nightbreed comic series. Uh, the Alec and Abby that John mentions are the Swamp Thing and, Ad and Abby Holland, who use John as a human proxy for conceiving their daughter, Pepe. Boy, I said that, I don't know. But there we go. Happy to add that. Hellraiser issue 27. Uh, the two final books I picked up from that little haul in Worcester was um, a couple of books that aren't heating up due to the announced Thor, Love and Thunder. Now, I went to the Mort House originally to pick up issue one, so I knew he had it, but it was gone. No surprises. But I've managed to find issue number two. And this is the first full appearance of Jane Foster as Thor. Yeah. And this is from Russell Dodgerman, the cover. And that's issue two. And then I had to pick up issue eight, and that was four pound. This is where Thor is revealed to be Jane Foster. And that she is fighting late stage cancer. I expect these books to really heat up when the movie hits Russell Dortmund again. What is one of Daz's hauls without a bit of magic from Carby Tony? I picked up two copies of this. One's up for sale right now. The book in question for a pound of, and they're always perfectly packaged, as Tony says, is Spawn issue 61. This currently is a 15 to 20 pound book, guys. And this is. Uh, like I say, Spawn 61 is the first cameo appearance of Jessica Priest. Now, if you didn't know, guys, Jessica Priest is to become the next She Spawn in issue 302. So look out for that one, guys. Okay? It's Spawn issue 61. Now we're into the final pile of books, and these are good ones. I made a hot comic book alert on this one recently. Uh, we're getting a Black Widow prequel movie, aren't we? I'm all ready for that film. Like I said, I've got Tales of Suspense, issue 52, first Black Widow. I've got uh, David Harbour character, first Red Guardian. I've got the first Taskmaster, Ultimate Taskmaster. The, you know, I've got them all, I'm all bases covered. Happy to add this one as well. Marvel Fanfare, issue 11. Uh, I mean, I've overpaid probably, £5.75 from Amazon, because the ones on eBay were blowing up crazily. Uh, this is the first appearance of Iron Maiden, Melina Fostikoff, a female assassin, an enemy of Black Widow, and she's going to be played by Rachel Wise in the Black Widow prequel movie that's coming. So, uh, a good book to have. First appearance of Inkama, Deadshot, Durant, and Wrangler, and uh, Black Lotus as well, and Kono de Sumo. Marvel Fanfare issue 11, the first appearance of the Iron Maiden. You may be, it's the same name, it's the same character name, but. It may be a different version we get in the movie. I said I went to a shop in Scotland and I had a little route round. They have like four or five copies of this. 
but I didn't really have the cash at the time. I'm just happy to add this one to the PC. £3.60, my sole purchase from Scotland. Detective Comics, issue 850. It was difficult getting that back from Scotland without getting it damaged. And I've done pretty well, I think. It is the first team up of Catwoman, Harlequin and Poison Ivy, who would later form the Gotham City Sirens. Of course, there's been rumoured we will get a Gotham City Sirens movie at some point. I think we're only left with bronze and silver. The first bronze book I picked up is Beat Up, and uh, it had stickers all over the front cover, but I paid just £2.77. That's probably what it's worth. But I thought, I'll add it. Daredevil issue 118. Doesn't look too bad, it presents okay. This is the first appearance of Black Wind, who is Joseph Manfredi, the son of Silvermane. And it includes the Marvel Value Stamp 28 Hawkeye. Happy to add this uh, character to my PC. This is a great character. I thoroughly enjoyed the Marvel Netflix uh, series. It's gutted they finished, you know, my love for Jessica Jones' series. But this was a character I really loved in Luke Cage. And this is Luke Cage, Hero for Hire, issue 5. I paid £11 for this. This is, which is, I think is a steal. The first appearance of this character. Black Mariah was Mariah Dillard. Yeah, she was in the Luke Cage series. And ultimately died in season 2 of Luke Cage. Also the first appearance of Flea and the second appearance of Phil Fox. Into the Silvers. And a ratty silver to start with. Just a character, a team that was in my encyclopedia that I had to add. Uh, this is Adventure Comics issue 375. I only paid £3.24. This is the first appearance of the Wanderers team and its members. Aviat, Celebrant, Bertalon, Elvar, Psyche, Quantum Queen and Reanimage. Or Reanimage. Up next... Happy to add this one. What do they pay? £3.45. Another character from my Marvel Encyclopedia. This is Avengers issue 80. Goes nicely with a nice run of uh, early silver and bronze Avengers I have. This is the first appearance of Red Wolf who is William Tawtrees. And the first appearance and origin of uh, Red Wolf Wildren who is Marvel's first modern Native American superhero. We've also got the first appearance of Jason Birch, Lobo Wolf, a word away a daughter and this is where vision rejoins the team of the avengers here's red wolf right at the top there up next uh happy to add this one but you know it's it's come away a little bit from the bottom staple which i'm not happy about because it presents beautifully i paid 11 pound 90 for this another character from my dc encyclopedia this is Detective Comics issue 351. This is the first appearance of Clue Master. And I remember him from a Batman animated uh, show I watched. And he is Arthur Brown. Nothing like he appeared in the, the cartoon, but a cool character all the same. And like I say, that presents pretty nicely. This is a book you would never think of me picking up, but it was in my encyclopedia, and it, it's in the fine range. And for five ninety nine, I picked up uh, All American Men of War, issue 112. Don't see this book every day, guys. This is the first appearance of Balloon Buster. And Balloon Buster is Steve Henry Steve Savage. This was a good read, guys. Yeah, I like, I like some more books in my collection. Presents nicely again, like I say. 5 99 for some nice Silver Age, why not? And another book in nice condition is uh, another character from my encyclopedia of DC. Strange Adventures, issue 177. I paid £9.50 for this copy and it is sweet. Love these covers. Got quite a nice little collection from the building of Strange Adventures. If you've been following me, I picked up the first Dead Man recently in issue 205. Well, this is the first appearance and origin of the Immortal Man, Clarn Arg, 
who reincarnates with a new identity immediately, immediately after he dies. And uh, this is a nice Bernie, uh, Bernard Bailey cover art. Now, a mortal man was not conceived as an ongoing character, and he was not named in this, this issue, issue, but he was a hit. So a mortal man then started to appear in a few other books. The first story is all about a mortal man. Now I'm left with my three big boy books, guys. I'm doing well to get this in in under half an hour. And I paid basically 30 quid for each of these books. And they are stunningly nice grade. I can't believe my luck. I really can't. What can I say? I paid 30 quid for this copy. Now I've, I've graded these in the 5.5 range. But well, this one in particular could be, it could be a 6.5, could be a 7 on a good day with a with a press i've cleaned them all up first up for 30 quid guys i picked up doom patrol issue 86 and look at that sweet sweet looking book look at that 30 quid look at that barely nothing wrong with it guys 30 quid this is the first appearance of the brotherhood of evil team uh, was on the Doom, Doom Patrol TV show. First appearance of Eric Morden. You know, I, I just showed you Miss, first Mr. Nobody. This is where he, his first appearance, Eric Morden. This is the, the main villain in Doom Patrol. This is the first appearance of the Brain, a major character. It appears in other things like the Teen Titans uh, Go TV show. Uh, first appearance of Madame Rouge, who was Laura de Mel, and the first appearance of Monsoir Mala, who was basically Fat Gorilla. But that is a sweet copy for 30 quid. I've seen rougher copies in this going for 80. So I've, I've done well. My friend uh, Lee at the antique shop, he offered me a copy for 20, but it was so beat up. I was thinking about it, but then I saw that for 30 on eBay. eBay deals are out there, guys, and nothing is sweeter than this next book. A book I saw at a con ages ago for 20 quid, and it was beat to hell. And I just thought I was going to buy it because I thought I'll never see that book again. I'll never be able to afford this book. I've got so lucky. It was bidding and I stuck a cheeky one in in the last minute and got it. I couldn't believe it. Nice 10 centre. DC. What can I say? £33 including shipping. I have added to my collection Adventure Comics issue 283. <sighs> Look at this big boy book, guys. The first appearance of General Zod. Oh my days, he's appeared in everything. Eh? Most recently, The Man of Steel. Oh, I can't believe it. You know, Terence Stamp played him in Superman 1 and 2. You know, he was meant to be at a con recently. I can't believe it. Look at it. And look at the look at the quality of the book. 33 quid. Look at it, guys. Just look at the spine. As well as the first appearance of General Zod, we've got the first Phantom Zone. What a book for 33 quid. Oh, yeah. Delighted with that. That is slab worthy, mate. Guys, uh, as well as that Doom Patrol 86. Again, I put it as a 5.5, but it is. There's not, nothing wrong with it. Nothing. So it could be a 6.5, I don't know. First General Zod. And my final book again, what did I pay? £33 again. Another huge big boy book, but this time from Marvel. And the book in question, the char the main character has already appealed in a big Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. I picked this one up as well because we're going to get this char another character in a sequel. The book I picked up for £33 again, which is a steal because this is in this grade. If I got this slapped, this is easily 200 plus. Is Strange Tales, issue 126, guys. This is the first appearance of Dormammu, the main villain who was in the Doctor Strange movie. Now, rumour has it that Dormammu was going to be around for the next one, where Doctor Strange teams up with the Scarlet Witch. But this is also the first appearance of Clea, who goes on to become Clea Strange, Do uh, Doctor Strange's love interest. And again, guys, look at the grade on this book. Look at this. Very, very sweet, guys. Yeah, it's got a couple of ticks. 
But look, the corners. The corners are so sharp. You know, I've been looking and looking for this, and you see Ratty copies going for a 60. This is sweet. And the, cut, the pages and all three of these big boy books are, well, they're, they're so nice. They're so nice. So I'm going to finish, guys, with those three big ones there. Look at that. I've done well this time, guys. I'm delighted. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I sit at 711, which is my, it's tied my world record for subs. Here's my sponsors, Aquaman and Hawkman. Oh, guys, look at that. You've got Chewie and a Stormtrooper. That's all I'll say. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you see, please subscribe. There's more where this came from. That's Daz Overnight. Bye for now.